dirty. You nasty girl. You nasty girl. What's going on? Today we got Still Brazy from YG. This is his album following my crazy life. And I thought that album was pretty good. Haven't listened to it much since it came out. You know, it wasn't stellar, but it wasn't bad. I'm excited to elevate to a whole new level of white listening to this album because um, I'm not in a gang. I have never been in a gang unless you are counting Halo 3 clans back in the day. For counting those, then uh, I'm a fucking legend. And the spilling has commenced. Not a smart idea to eat Chipotle in a car, fellas and fellettes. This cute little bag of chips. He's so cute. He's like my little child. I'm eating. I'm eating my child. <laughs> Oh, casual. We're just gonna play the first two tracks together because first track I'm assuming is a skit seeing as 15 seconds long So we got track number one pops hot intro then track two don't come to LA featuring sad boy AD and brick baby. I told your mama. She should have moved All this bullshit her fault <laughs> Miss I can't leave Los Angeles, California <laughs> All right that mm was for this beat, not the food, but I kind of guess it's for both. Stop. I didn't say play and don't God, iTunes suck me off like when you press pause to stop it It like goes to seven albums ahead. Sorry. Did you did you want kids bop volume three? That should be an album. I react to as a kids bop album Spilling like BP over here. You know what I'm saying track three who shot me? Who shot me? Motherfucker, ah. who shot me? Oh, that's dirty! Who shot me? Boop! Did the homie set me up? Song is about when YG got shot recently. All these maybe, 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 maybe is about to say fuck and start squeezing without aiming. I got two. Oh, sleep at night. This shit above the pool. Having nightmares of me. I'm disgusting. Yeah, baby. Yeah. Oh, yeah. This is like seriously some modern 90s hip hop. This is dope. After all the wicked shit I did, I knew karma was gonna catch up with me. Ooh. I assume the hook is like just saying like after you shot he's like who shot me combination of that while also like Still not knowing and just kind of like who did shoot me was it this bitch was it this bitch or was it this bitch? I bet it was this bitch Can totally see this bitch shooting YG track number four. Where does bond James Bond really clever buddy really clever You're so funny you should be a stand-up fucking comedian. Featuring Slim 400. This G-Funk shit is dope. My fingers with a Z, so you know he's cool. Woo! Fuck yeah! Fuck yeah! Fuck yeah! Woo! All these rap niggas wanna be blues. Never see him in the hood. Only see him in the club. Hey! 
low. Copying off you, rap niggas is a no no. Oh, you can hop out solo. Suck is a fofo. I probably need three more. Cause these niggas are emo. Oh, yes, dude. This song is so sick. track was mm, that was that was that was just uh that was just just you know that was just mm. that shit is some i am drunk as fuck at a party and i am going to twist my fingers all fucking night all night oh my god all night i literally want to go buy a bottle of bay right now and drink to this song not in my car because that's irresponsible hey hey that's irresponsible i don't care how many rappers talk about drinking and driving that's that's irresponsible. That's that's not that's not a smart idea. Would you would you let your mom do it? You're, let your grandma know that you're a drunk driver. I don't think so because she's nice and she makes you cookies and she makes you crepes on holidays. And maybe the holiday ham is a little too salty, but you eat it anyway because she's fucking cute. Because she's your grandma and she's like you know 92, and and she's she's just. What was in that Chipotle? Was it crack? Track number six, Good Times Interlude, featuring Sky 800, Deuce or Deuce, Marley Blue, and Burnt Out for an interlude that's 39 seconds long. There it go! As soon as I thought I was having a good time in the homie convo, I'm trying to tell niggas, man, YG, a real nigga. Turn into the money convo. Now, nigga, borrow a couple hundred dollars, my nigga. Huh? You the homie. I know you got it. Nigga, what? Uh-huh. All right. We're just going to go on the next track. Gimme Got Shot. Track seven. Give me that. Give me a lot. Give me a shot. What's the first? Give me got it. Everything he wanted. If he wanted it. If he got it, he wouldn't know what's the lot. Give me this. Give me that. I'm sorry. I need a break. I need a break from this beat. Holy fuck. Funkiest shit I have ever heard. YG, what the fuck? YG, 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 shit. Give me this, give me that, give me a lot. Nigga, give me guys. I ain't know what to do, man. I had to fuck one of your bitches. Hey, give me all the, the foul call. call. When I pulled out my clock, everybody know how I give me guys. Give, ah. give me this. From. This is just a bone. I'm gonna give you the funkiest beats you ever heard. I'm gonna ride these beats like a goddamn jockey on crack. And well, they're all on crack, really. I mean, you have you seen Always Sunny in Philadelphia? They're on some hard ass drugs. Also, I I know I'm Charlie Day. Okay, I get it. I'm not white trash. I'm gonna kill rats. That's it's me. I know. I know I'm Charlie Day, guys. I get it. But Jesus Christ! I had no expectations going to this album whatsoever. This shit is like sonically on a whole new level, you know what I'm saying? Do you know what I'm saying, fam? Fam, look at me. Fam, it's so good. It's like, it's like, oh, you know, it's like a pink lemonade on a hot summer day when you sip it and you're like, mmm, shit, that's fresh. Shout out Bridesmaids, the only funny line in that movie. Don't fuck with me and say that movie's funny. It is not the female hangover. It is a hangover. They, they advertise it as like, oh, funny buddy comedy. It's a rom-com. It is another rom-com, guys. All I've been thinking about all day is the comparisons between Bridesmaids and YG's rap career. There are so many correlations between the two, it is ridiculous. Coffee is kicking in now. I am very hyper right now. Fuck. All right, so I got a question featuring Young Moolah, baby. Can he become Carter Threezy again? Probably fucking not. Stop it! Stop with these fucking beats, YG! Shit! Ah! Oh. 
fucking children got a building now. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Track number nine. Why you always hating? Oh fuck. Featuring Drizzy and Kamea. Kamehameha. If there's deep breathing in your feet. That song was dedicated to those in the comments saying, this sucks, I'm too white to do this, I'm like Big Quint. To all the haters that comment on my videos and get in arguments with me, just remember, you're giving me views, bud. You're giving me more chances to uh, be on that come up, you know what I'm saying? Everybody's saying I'm a blow up. I haven't blown up yet, but you know what? I'm feeling it. I'm feeling the blow up. I am a wacky, wavy, inflatable, arm flailing, two man, halfway blown up, and I am going to be touching that sky, doing this shit. This is the stupidest thing I've ever said. My perception featuring Slim 400 again. Hey, YG, why these people bad mouthing your name? We just vibing, biggin' it, big and bag, being bold. It was an intro to the next song, Bull Balm and Belective. I think I might move locations here. These high schoolers are watching me. And it's kind of giving me the heebs. Peace, high schoolers. Got him. What the cuz last night I had some bomb. She got ratchet in the rear, just we had the bombs. And when a nigga asked, he be like, he know my regular movement. Is that you like it with the penis? We ain't worth me doing the tension. But I just bit it and act like the bigger nigga. Cause I'm bold. Ah. And black. To be our ladies. Hey, it's your best friend and feel numb about it. Hold on a second while I call my QB beard. Yo, he is bringing it right now. He's like got this really dope narrative going on and like bringing back this West Coast flavor. Yo, this shit, I'm digging it a lot so far. Next track, She Wish She Was, featuring Joe Moses and J305. Are you done with the fucking sick instrumentals, YG? She was a nigga. Oh! Shit. 
This is hilarious. Oh, the feminists are gonna hate that one. All right, we got another interlude very short thing. YG, be safe, featuring the homegirl. Hey, YG, the boys just came popping on the home. So what'd you put up? We gotta be safe. All albums that do this. Can you just put like the three second tracks in one song? It's kind of annoying. You know, I don't know why albums do that. It just doesn't make sense to me why it needs to be separate. Anyway, still brazy. Title track. Title track. Title track. Title track. What's up? What's up? This shit brazy. Mm -hmm. This shit brazy. 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 Yikes. Why everybody want a piece of my pie? I, I used to party out with Scotty like people. I don't trust uh -huh. you. And I stopped inviting bitches over to the crib. But he know why I'm living shit. Uh -huh. pleasantly surprised by this album it's ridiculous track 15 fdt featuring nipsey hustle woke up one morning and heard this weird ass motherfucker talking out the side of his neck we always thought he was straight influential motherfucker when it came to the business huh it's how we feel fuck down try fuck down try oh. Some reason FDT didn't register in my mind and I was like oh yeah that song a month ago you know this is the type of song that you ride around windows down hopefully you catch one Trump supporter off guard on the road hey fuck you you don't tell me to fuck Donald Trump I'm not gonna fuck Donald Trump after hearing this song they'll be like well you know what yeah Actually, yeah, fuck Donald Trump. I, I forgot that I had a brain. He's a racist piece of shit because cause I'm a, I'm a racist piece of shit. Oh my God. I've been a, I've been a racist piece of shit my whole life. Honey, honey, put that Mountain Dew down. Honey, put that Mountain Dew down. We're going to go to church. We're going to confess our sins because we are racist rednecks. You know the whole time? Why'd you tell me, Deborah? What was it? Me being the leader of the KKK? We need to get through this fucking album. I've been in my car for like two hours. Track 16. Blacks and Browns featuring Sad Boy. Ah, uh, fuck. Just give me a pillow. Looking bad on the news. Black on black homicide. I'm a oh, man. I can't go outside. Real. I need them dollars. Got these problems with this llama on my mind. I'm a nigga and I can't go outside. Wow. They make it. That's why we say fuck the law. We act like we don't want the juice. It's fucked up our way. Some it's luck up our way. This, that, nigga, we all we got. We need to stop playing on what the next black guy. Give him his props to figure out how he ran shot. So our kids, we killing ourselves. They killing us too. They distract us with entertainment while they get they loot. They never gave us what they owed us. We lick the souls on every corner. Put them to Long Island, California. Yo! I'm here to speak for my people. Oh, shit! We need to come together, look around. They made the border for the brown skins. We're not allowed. Gotta get the green card. Why we gotta look for work at Home Depot? It was only for the natives. Why we ain't need? But oh. why you keep trying to make America great? Fuck you, what you say? <laughs> Somebody the only color that caught shots in this world is green. And that hey. means they want what you got on. I can't go outside. Cause if my homies say it's... Don't shoot, 
let me get fatherly with you here. That was real! Yep, hi. Why do people do that? Why do people stare at you and then do an awkward like, don't do that. I'm talking to my people while you're walking past me going, Is that a man talking to himself in a car listening to black people music? Does he know he's white? I better wave at him so he remembers his skin color. Yes. Oh, I just waved at that heathen. Black people music. Oh. YG is excelling in this album because he's not doing metaphors, he's not doing any of this shit. He is getting to the point on every track, and every bar is impactful because of that. YG is just real as fuck right now. And last track, police get away with murder. Because they do. That's also real. This beat already, this fucking beat. Oh, it's Like doing a video right now. In a soft release, so I thought it was like empty or something. You can lease it. You can get whatever <laughs> you want. No, God, no. <laughs> I don't have that kind of money. Okay. So. <laughs> All right. Well, I just was wondering. I could hear the music actually yeah. through the window, so I'm like, okay. Yeah. Cool. Sorry. Yeah, no problem. That's gonna I was just be more loud. curious. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Thanks. Thanks. Why does this happen to me? God. God? God? Let's continue, shall we? God, you were sad, so I can't get paid for Sargon in the Mac, so we don't give a fuck. We don't give a fuck. See the Illuminati high shit. They don't tell us what really got a story. This ain't a spook, motherfucker. We put our hands up and ask them to shoot, motherfucker. Then post for us out for one to two. Where is this sub base coming from? Guns and we can buy them off the shelf. You should get life in the coffin if you don't protect yourself. Wonder why I live life looking over my shoulder. Oh, is that the album cover? Oh, oh. I don't get paid in YouTube money yet, but I do get paid in Trident layers. Am I right? Shout out 2006 commercials. <laughs> so aside from that minor hiccup from why is this person playing music in my parking lot, McGee? We got ourselves one solid fucking project, y'all. The production top tier, grade A, FDA approved. There's not one whack beat. They all have different little components that make them like really catchy, really fucking grimy and nasty. And that's like the theme of this album. It's just nasty. The life that this guy lives is nasty. Like he's got to be paranoid all the time. He's got to defend himself all the time. Everybody's after him, but it's just his life and that's what he paints for you. And so you understand where he's coming from. And you also understand that he is not faking all this shit. He's not beating around the bush with any of his life. He is giving it to you right here on a silver platter culinary masterpiece this album's got a three star michelin rating you know what i'm saying if you are in the mood for some straight up head bobbing driving down the street with your arm arthritis over the wheel and one arm out the window this is the perfect album for you son thank you very much for watching i will be posting more reactions soon whenever there is new music out subscribe to stay tuned of what's coming up next on my channel follow me on twitter and instagram peace Ooh.